And welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. Sean Edwards is, uh, well, he's globetrotting to bring us some new celebrity interviews, which is my way of saying I have no idea where he is. <laughs> anyway, he'll be back soon. <laughs> now, <and> that's right. <laughs> Well, here's the question. When is a movie both entertaining and disappointing at the same time? Well, it's when it's the new biopic, Bob Marley, One Love. The late reggae icon's music propels what is otherwise a very bland reenactment of segments of his life. But you can't blame Kingsley ben who's fine in the title role, and the soundtrack is engaging, but the movie's awkward structure stalls any potential dramatic momentum. Sean says, quote, not a fan when family members are involved in telling the story. Uh, Bob Marley deserves an episodic series. So much is left off the table, and what we get is either cliched or not thoroughly explained. It's tailor-made for fans who will cheer, but for everyone else, this needed to be better. Thankfully, Kinsley Bingadier uh, really thrives as Bob Marley, despite having to wear a horrible wig. Well, I'm giving it two popcorn bags. It sure does me one better. Three popcorn bags for Bob Marley, one love. Now, one thing about the new Marvel superhero opus, Madam Web, is you've seen it all before. Dakota Johnson is passable in the origin story of a woman with the ability to see short spans into the future. She and some innocent teens are hunted by a power-hungry villain, played by Dahar Rohim, who's horribly miscast. I see the future of this movie. It's going nowhere. Madam Web is so lifeless, according to Sean, the unoriginal, it almost feels like a spoof. It's laughably bad, and the time has come for studio execs to stop trying to breathe cinematic life into minor comic book characters. I'm giving it two popcorn bags, but Sean's only willing to give Madame Webb zero popcorn bags. Now, don't see the lush French historical romance, The Taste of Things, on an empty stomach. The first 20 minutes consists of the loving preparation of mouth-watering gourmet meals. Juliette Bonneau stars in the romantic tale of a cook and the renowned chef she works for, and it's set in the late 1800s. It's sophisticated and tasty, and I'll give it three popcorn bags. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screening room. Check us out on our YouTube page or give us a like on our Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page for all the inside movie scoop, and that's often where we give away movie passes, so check it out. And that's it for this week, guys. Yeah. All right, thanks, Russ. I was hoping that Bob Marley would be <laughs> That was better. sort of a disappointing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, week. Yeah.